What is the derivative of x squared times sine x times ln x? What do you think the answer is to that question? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about how to do that. Now, you need to be familiar with something called the product rule. The derivative of f times g is equal to f prime times g plus f times g prime. So that's if we have two things multiplied to each other. But here, this problem has three components multiplied to each other, three different functions. So the formula is going to be a little different. We want to find the derivative of f times g times h. So what we need to do is take the derivative of the first part, f, which is f prime, and then you're going to multiply by the two other components, g and h. Next, we're going to take the derivative of the second part, g, leaving the other two functions the same. So it's going to be f times g prime times h. For the last part, we're just going to differentiate the last function, h, leaving the first two the same. So it's going to be f times g times h prime. So that's the formula that we want to use in order to find the derivative of this function. So at this point, what we want to do is identify what f, g, and h are. So f is going to be, let me write that here. f is going to be x squared. g is going to be sine x. And h will be the natural log of x. So now let's find f prime. The derivative of x squared is going to be 2x. As for g prime, the derivative of sine is cosine. And as for h prime, the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Now for those of you who might not know these things, if you need a review of derivatives, I'm going to post a link in the description section below where you can review the derivative of trigonometric functions and natural logs and how to use the power rule. So feel free to take a look at that if you need to review that. But let's continue with this problem. So now all we need to do is plug in these values into this expression. So the derivative of this function is going to be f prime, which is 2x, times g, which is sine x, times h, that's ln x, plus f, that's x squared, times g prime, which is cosine x, times h, which is ln x. And then we have f, g times h prime, which is 1 over x. Now, this is our answer, but we can simplify it a bit. x squared times 1 over x, which is x squared divided by x, that's simply x. So this term reduces to x sine x. The last thing that we could do is we can factor out an x because we have it in each term. So if we want to, we can write our answer like this. x and then times 2 sine x ln x plus x cosine x ln x and then plus sine x. And that's as far as we can go with this problem. That's all we can do. So now you know how to use the triple product rule when you have a derivative problem that looks like this. So that's basically it for this video. Uh, that is the end of the lesson. Now, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, when you get a chance, take a look at the description section below in this video. The reason for that is I'm going to post some links where you could find more problems on derivatives, such as derivatives of exponential functions, logarithmic dif uh, differentiation, product rule, chain rule, quotient rule, 
and other things that you might be tested on that relates to this topic. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. And thanks again for watching.